are back. Now, you would have seen from my previous video that I, well, I don't know if it's previous, but it's like one of these videos where I submitted my revised discussion chapter to my supervisors. Now, I did say that because I did not get the discussion chapter right, it delayed the submission of my PhD. And one of the things to know is when you touch any section, particularly when it comes to sections that relate to theory or concepts, when you make changes to it, it affects the structure of your PhD. So I made changes to the discussion chapter, changed the structure of the argument, and of course that affects the literature review. So what I'm going to do tonight is I'm going to read my literature review over. Yes, I've printed it out. You all know how I feel about printing these things out. So I'm going to read my literature review and make some notes based on what I've, you know, just done with regards to my discussion chapter. So I actually want to take you through how I do revision. So I will be starting with looking at this document, making some changes, and then I would make a structure for how I would like this literature review to flow. Um, and that's what I plan on doing today. Okay y'all, so I've just finished reading and making changes to my lit review. So you can see that there are a couple of scratches. I did a bunch of writing and rearranging um, in this document. And I'm showing you this because I just want you to know that it's absolutely okay to, you know, write up on it and restructure. You know, this is part of making this um, as clear as possible. And, you know, it's a long document. So you want to make sure that it is an enjoyable read. Uh, once I made my changes, uh, as I said, I have to, you know, go over the structure. So I created a structure for this chapter. And I know that it looks messy, but as I was writing, you know, I kept changing my ideas in terms of what I want the subtitles to say. Um, but what I've done is I've created like a mini table of contents for this chapter. So now I know what are the subsections and I know what are the theories and concepts and arguments that go into it. I, once I did this, once I knew like what would be the title and subtitles, I then made a, like a little plan, writing plan, and I am a visual learner, so I did draw, but I made nine points, um, which is really the storyline of my thesis. Um, so this is the script, you can almost say, for this story. Yeah, so let's say that, you know, I have to talk about hybrid organizations. I know what are the points that I have to talk about with regards to hybrid organizations if I just look at one of the points. So again, because, you know, your PhD has so many um, streams of literature in it, it's really important for you to not just write broadly like this, but also know what goes into each section. All right, guys, so that aspect of the literature review is done. It's time to get some rest. I am sleepy. <laughs> hello, everybody. Hello, hello, hello. Tomorrow, I have my supervisory meeting. Uh, they're going to give me feedback on the changes that I've made, whether 
there are edits that need to be made I know that there will be um, but I'm hoping that it's not as much and it's just you know a couple of very light touch things I've been working on my literature review today uh, I did show you how I structured everything so now that I have that plan I'm typing as I go along so today is really just a day of yeah getting these sections together Okay, beautiful people so I have my meeting with my supervisors this morning getting feedback on my discussion chapter that I submitted that needed restructuring so let's see how this goes so I thought I mean um, I, I, I thought that the, the structure was much much uh, improved than it, it read I thought it read well it's much easier <coughs> much less um, yeah a, a lot clearer, basically. so <laughs> yeah. that, was, that, that was good okay um, and I made a, a, a few little comments, but yeah, I, I saw that. Yeah, I made a review, and I think there, there is still probably a little bit more that you could say about charities, what they add. To so here is what I here is my thinking around the charities. So when I when I first went in, I had no idea that charities would be this significant in the study. These types of uh, enterprises, social enterprises, in inverted commas, or charities. Uh, are doing a job that industry would usually do as well. I don't, I don't think you uh, you need to rework this on its own. I yeah. think now you probably, as you've just indicated, need to go back to your literature yeah. just to make sure that that's got uh, what you need. Hello, everyone. So you heard it. The meeting went well, thankfully. I just have one little section that needs more information. They think that it's a strong point and we really need to like drive it home because this is one of my theoretical contributions um, of my thesis. It's an original contribution. So when you have an original contribution, you really want it to be persuasive as well. So I have to just add a bit more stuff to that. And then I will be submitting my final draft uh, probably around the 19th well maybe not even the 19th maybe the like the 12th 13th of october and i need to give my supervisors some time so that they can read through the entire document and then i'll have my final meeting uh, where they will tell me what little changes little need to be made on my final draft and then we submit so I am a bit, you know, not disappointed, but I just wish that I didn't have to submit so late. Um, I just really wanted to ensure that this was submitted uh, before October. It didn't happen. And I, I guess I have to just accept that, you know, it is a long process and it's a hundred thousand words that people need to read through. So. I would just keep reminding myself, give yourself grace, give yourself grace, give yourself grace, Shelly. So my people, if you're in this predicament, things aren't really going your way, surrender, surrender. It saves you so much stress. It saves you so much of heartache and anxiety. Surrender and let God do the rest, okay? <laughs> so hi, beautiful people, good morning. How are y'all doing? So I had my supervisor meeting yesterday. Y'all saw how that went. Um, there is just one subsection of that discussion chapter that I need to develop a bit more. But once that is finished, I then send my full chapter, well, not my full chapter, sorry, my full draft to my supervisors and I would have my final meeting with them. I have just been in my head. Like I've just been in my head with this PhD, quite honestly. Um, you know, you just start to feel like it's not enough, it's not enough, it's not enough, it's not enough. So you keep going back and reworking and reworking and reworking. And I just reach a stage where I'm like, stop it. Just stop it. You've done all of the work. Stop it. Anyways, I am going to run some errands today. I need to go to the grocery, so I'm going to take you on that. And then later on today, um, I will continue with my edits of my PhD. So let's go. Okay guys, so 
I am now out and headed to the grocery. I had to put on my hat because it's super gloomy today and I am trying to get this hair wet. <laughs> it's a no. I just wanna say like, you have to get out. You know, you might be disappointed. There might be things that have happened that haven't gone your way as you saw in my recent video but give yourself grace and go out enjoy the scenery take a walk live sometimes we allow our disappointments to just keep us down Then got my groceries and freedom. Angels and to our meditation, we welcome the presence and guidance of our ancestors into our meditation. We welcome the presence of the Divine Mother and to our meditation. Okay, so I've made a new plan for October 2020. It is what it is. So I have all that I'm going to do in terms of reading, proofreading, making edits, and my supervision meeting on the 26th. Submitting the final on the 21st. Guys, so it's been a minute, but your girl has been making progress and I'm happy to report that we are at the stage of our bibliography guys oh my god i am so excited i will be submitting my final draft in what two days i'm submitting on monday i literally last night when i finished my introduction i was i didn't know what to do with myself i was like am i really here so guys i stayed up an all-nighter it is now <laughs> seven minutes to ten i set a goal of wanting to submit this so that my phd supervisors have a week to read my final phd draft and um, it's in full so references abstracts appendices everything like look at my desk <laughs> not even going to show you on my face but yeah we are finished with this full draft so i'm really happy the, the thing that I love to look at the most when I finish a write-up is the table of contents. Like, this is when you realize that you finished. Like, mm, four years. I'm so happy. Alright, time to submit. Alright, shall we guys? Shall we? Shall we? Yeah! Do it! Yes! Woo! So guys, you have come to the end of this video. Thank you so much for getting to the end of this video. I have submitted the final draft and I have my meeting with my supervisors in about three days. And I'm going to know whether this final draft will go through for a submission, online submission. Fingers crossed. I hope that this video was helpful and useful. I really just wanted to share what I've been going through. It has not been easy, but you know, we're getting there. Thank you for just sticking with me. I know that that next video will be me submitting. I affirm it. <laughs> Anyways, have a beautiful day, everyone. Bye.